Hi, so in this video, I'm going to uh, use the asset application to create a uh, piece of equipment and uh, enter some basic details so you understand the process how we manage an asset in Maximo. So now let's go back to our application in order to access the system. We use the uh, IBM Maximo preview site. Okay, so now in order to create a new asset, then we're going to open the asset application. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to our slide here. So I have prepared a small uh, image uh, so we can easily understand the concept. So let's pretend that uh, we have a vehicle here and we need to manage it in maximal as long as all of its uh, components like uh, an engine, like the wheels, and a list of spare parts that we can use to provide maintenance work, uh, provide uh, inventory for our maintenance work, and also we have some small maintenance plans for the equipment. So first of all, we will create our asset record for our vehicle. So let's go back to Maximo. I'm going to click here on this button to create a new record. I'm going to call it, let's say, Chuck. Okay. And I'm going to choose the type here, production, which is a production asset. Yep, I think that's it. And then I'm gonna save it. Now I'm going to create another record for our component. The first component is an engine for the truck. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm gonna Yep. So in this case, I'm going to specify the parent asset of this engine is the asset number of our uh, the chart that we just defined. And now I'm going to create four more uh, asset to, uh, to record four wheels. So in this case, we got a similar asset, so I'm going to duplicate it by clicking on duplicate asset here. And I'm going to enter a new asset number. I'm going to set the same parent as well. And I'm going to do the same thing. So now if we open our original asset, the chuck, we can click on this button and choose move to asset here. And if we click on the spare parts tab, then we can see the sub-assembly, which is the component of this asset, is this asset. So we know that with this asset, we have uh, these components. And if we click on the open drill down, we can see the hierarchical uh, structure of this asset as well. And now, uh, 
Let's uh, continue by creating this uh, spare part and associate those with our asset. 